I want to give you an idea of what we've got here across the area. Temperature wise, we are in the lower 80s, 83 degrees in Huntsville, 81 indicator, both Florence and Scottsboro. We are at 82 degrees. We've had a fair amount of sunshine today, helping us get into the low to mid 80s and the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network is showing us a pretty quiet picture at each one of our three radars. There is one exception here, and that's right along the Mississippi Alabama line here, really right where Colbert and Franklin counties meet. Look closely. We've had one downpour popping up, but that's about it. I think we're going to be just fine for Friday night football. This is our big game Friday night, Randolph and Madison Academy. It kick off our temperatures in the mid 70s. As we get to halftime, we are at 73. I think uh, time things are wrapping up. Fourth quarter, 71 degrees. So overall tonight, it's still pretty mild. Temperatures are only dropping into the mid 60s. It's partly cloudy. We've got that calm wind. Things start to change for tomorrow, not so much in the sense that tomorrow is a washout, but the humidity begins to creep back up and it helps sets the stage for a pretty rainy Sunday. Watch what happens here as we go through the rest of this evening. I'll stop that at 7 o'clock. There's your dry view for kickoff. As we go through the rest of tonight into 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, notice we'll have a little more cloud cover than clear sky, and that's what stays with us through the day tomorrow. Now your rain chances tomorrow, I've got between 20 and 30 percent, and I see some data sources a little bit rainier than what you are seeing here, so just keep that in mind. It's not a washout tomorrow. Not everyone's going to see rain, but rain is back in our forecast. You'll see by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, we'll start to get a couple of these showers and storms popping up, but again, not everybody sees rain on Saturday through Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Notice how things start to change. This is not the main cold front coming through. This is ahead of the cold front that we've been talking about the past few days, but here comes this line of storms still tracking eastward by noon. It's making its way east of I-65, continuing to push into the Sand Mountain area by Sunday afternoon, 230, and then we'll still have some showers and storms left over through Sunday night into early Monday morning. There's 10 o'clock Sunday, still a mostly cloudy sky and some rain still in view here waking up Monday morning. There's the cold front knocking on our door to start the next work week. So primary threats Sunday talking about that rain. There's a high risk or at least a medium risk for heavy rain and a low risk for flooding. As far as severe storms go, looking unlikely at this point, but certainly something that we're monitoring for you. Here's future radar to show you that cold front slowly tracking eastward, still holding on to some showers and storms through Monday evening through Monday night. And as we go through the next few days, as far as rainfall totals here, we're looking at anywhere from half an inch to an inch of rain. Your 74 cast shows that we're a little bit cooler behind that front mid 70s by Tuesday. We'll be right back.